Oh my god. I think we got a real. We have a real. Oh my god, I can't believe it. to the 1600s farm we do have a new field we haven't been in over here so that's gonna be good and it's supposed to be a house site on the other side on another person's property we can't go there but right in front we can so we could have a good chance of hitting something there all right let's do it here we go all right i'm on about my third target trash can slow and everything but i see something round in the hole let's check it out look at that right there it's round for sure it almost looks like silver I don't know. It looks like it could be silver. Oh my god. I think we got a real. We have a real. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I've been figuring this place had a real. And there it is right there. Oh my god. That is awesome right there. Crazy. We got a real. First main target we dug. We got it. Awesome. All right, here we go. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Maybe I should start recording. Good golly, I got a real. All right, 2730. Lot, so much cancel on here. It's really hard to film every single dig because uh, you get so much in here. Nice tight signal here though, I like it. Let's see what we got here. I should, uh, it's out. Mm. Ah, uh, it's jumping around on me. It's going to be canceled. I almost guarantee it. Of course, whenever I record, it's going to be canceled. You know that. <laughs> All right, something small it seems like this for sure. Look at that. Yeah, cancel all guarantee. No, maybe not. Might be some kind of lead. Oh, it's lead. Well, that's a good sign. We're near a home site, so lead's a good thing. All right, here we go. I don't believe what we got here is an old square nail. Might be brass, brass nails. That's a good sign right there. I'm loving seeing that. Could be a house site right here where they didn't know where one was at. Older. All right, here we go. All right, more lead. We always like finding lead at an old home site. 1700s for that real, so we could find something else good. Here we go. Oh, we just popped the plug out, and I see something in the dirt. Check it out. It looks pretty cool. Whatever it is, I see some markings on it. Looks like it could be a button, but it does have some markings on it for sure. Let's see what we got here. Get down here when we get out of the dirt here. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's going to be a button for sure. All right. We're going to have to clean that one up and check it out. Definitely has some design on it. I don't know what it is right now. Could just be a... I don't know. We'll check it out. Man, that's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, we got another square brass nail, which is a good sign. They are definitely old. I am seeing just a little bit of brick in here, so I think we're right on top of the home site. Not sure, but at least close to it anyway. Here we go. All right, we got to hit it here, and it looks like it could be a bullet. I haven't cleaned it off yet, but I'm thinking bullet see what we got here clean off so we can see oh i'm seeing some rings we have our first three ring civil war bullet on this property very cool there it is right there that is 100 civil war bullet interesting shape though it's got real pointed but definitely civil war not sure it might be a williams cleaner I'm not sure because of the way it's designed. It's, it doesn't have the concave back. I'm thinking Williams Cleaner. What are they, Type 3 or whatever they are? They're taking several types of them. But anyway, we got a Civil War bullet. Awesome! All right, here we go. Right, I would normally not dig this. Check it out. You see how it's going between fierce and non fierce. Very loud target. And it's getting some iron grunts in it. Definitely. I'd say a big piece of iron down here, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to get down here and just see what the heck it is. You know what I mean? Like I said, I normally wouldn't even dig it, but today, I got too many targets, and I see it right here. Here it is. We have plow blade, axe head plow blade or something like that, and that's where I figured it was. Probably some kind of plow piece or something. 
I usually wouldn't even dig that, but just thought I'd show y'all why I don't dig them. Because you can tell that's going to be a fierce, and you can tell it's going to be iron. All right, here we go. I right, we may be wasting more film, but I got a solid 44, 40, solid 44. That's what that real was. So I feel like I should record, even though it could easily be a cancel. Easily. But we'll see. Wait a minute. Push it out. It's out. Right here on the end somewhere. Let's see what we got here. All right. Here. Oh, I think I see silver. Oh my goodness. I knew it was going to be something good. I thought. Check it out right there. I see it right there. That looks like silver to me. It's broken down. We'll take it. There we go. We got some more silver, baby. Got 45. Solid 45. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's not a real, but I tell you what. I'll take silver all day long. Awesome. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. All right, there's a couple owners back here, and we asked this another owner here if we could go hunt his little small field, and he said, yeah, go for it. I told him I'd give him what I find. First target, 1,700 Spanish Real. Couldn't believe it. I mean, first one, it was sounding good. And we got a Civil War bullet, a Civil War button, and a Mercury. So we did good in that field. Now we're going to hit the field in front of that one. He said it was a home site straight back there, so I'm going to be in front of where the home site was. Heading out to the main road, so let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, we got something round and flat right there. Can y'all see it? Awesome. I thought it could be a coin, but now, no, nah, that's a button for sure. Man, I thought we might have a large set there for a minute, but it's a button. Big button, too. All right, we got something else round here, but it was a 33, so I don't think it's going to be silver for sure. Don't feel a tab on back yet. So it could be a coin. A lot of dirt on it, that's for sure. I'm thinking weedy probably, if I had to guess. Or, or Indian head, you never know. All right, we're going to have to hold off on knowing what this is for a minute. And clean it up a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, looks like we have something else round here. I don't know what it is yet. This one's a little bit higher number. Oh, man, I feel a tab on back. That is going to be another button. But it could be something on the button. Let's make sure it's not a... Something on this button. Let's see what we got here. Just to see. It might be something on it. All right, well, check it out. Close it and uh, see if there's something actually on it. All right, this could be film worthy. Look at this. 52, 48, 49. I like it. Like I said, it could still be a big old pecan slob. Man, that, those are good numbers there, man. I ain't mine. Be nice if, if it came right out. I like that. It doesn't sound real big like a can either. That's a good thing. Nope. Still in the ground. All right, it's a little bit deeper. That's a good thing. Oh, it's out, and it's loud. Look at that. 48, I'm liking that. I'm liking it. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's just out of curiosity see if we see anything show up here real quick. Ooh, I feel something right here. Doesn't feel real heavy, though. That's got to be it. But that number should be... That number should be something good, you would think. All right, let's see what we got here. It's big. That's why it's got such a high number, I guess. But um, it doesn't feel real heavy. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Big and round. And copper, it looks like. I think it's going to be copper. I was hoping for silver, but... All right, stay tuned. We'll have to check it out. Oh, we got another 50. Look at that. Very tight, 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 too. So it shouldn't be a can with that tight of a, of a response. Let's see what we got here. And it is deep. Man, there's a little honey hole. Right at the end of the day, here, sun's going down, and we're trying to kind of wrap it up here. I don't know. Let's see. I think I've got even here somewhere. 
All right, come on, come on out of there. No? No, she's still down there. And it's got a good number to it. A good, good number. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Go down there. Go down a little deeper. All right. All right, we might have to go down here with the pinpointer. Find it in the hole. And get it out. Let's see what we got here on this. Nope. That thing is deep, deep, but it could be worth it. I'm hoping so, anyway. Let's see what we got on that. Nope. Do I see something down at the bottom of that hole? It's almost round right there. It is! I can see it in the bottom of the hole. Almost just like the last one. I don't know what the last one is. Interesting. Oh, I think I see a design on that one. Oh, man, I don't know what that is right off the top of my head, but definitely some kind of coin, it looks like. It's probably the same coin. The other one's right behind me, so. All right, we're going to have to clean those up and see what they are. That's awesome, man. That could be something really good. All right, stay tuned. All right, I think we'll have to call that a wrap. As you can see, the sun's below the tree line there. Going down, it's going to be getting dark in just a little bit. But we got three coins I think we got to clean up and figure out what they are. We got a real, one of the best days we had out here on this farm. Although I did love that trime out I got out here too and some other old coins, but <sighs> ain't bad. All right, let's get home and clean those up. Might do some electrolysis or maybe some tumbling. They're pretty roasted, so I don't think we're going to hurt them. All right, let's get home and check it out. Here we go. All right, we have one of the best days we've had in the old 1600s property. Finally got a real. I knew it was one out there. I just knew it. Uh, but actually, it was actually on the another person's property on that area. So I'm definitely going to be giving that to that person, the owner. I like giving stuff back to the owners. And it means so much more to them uh, that it came off their property and they can... They can show it to all their friends. This came off my property. See what see what the guy found? And it's several for I really do enjoy doing that. Let's check out what we got. Alright. The trash. As you can see, I was still digging a lot of can slaw in there. There's still a lot of can slaw over the years that I guess that hunters, the uh, farmers and all, they have um they they put they drink drinks. That's an old pop chopper. I mean an old pop chopper there, probably. 50 years old right there. Uh, some of the, you saw me digging. And I, I did get uh, the um, uh, ferrous metal. And I dig them up sometimes just to see what they are. A uh, little bit of uh, little bit of copper wire. Lead. This is all lead here. Uh, some little sheets of copper. Come from something. Uh, probably a uh, rivet for some leather. This was really interesting. It's um, definitely brass or something. And it has some markings on it, but I don't know if it's melted or what. It's very interesting. Though. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Square nails. Copper square nails. You know, that's some old stuff right there. That's pretty cool right there. We got three coins, which I'm not sure what any of them are. I was trying to do electrolysis on them, and they got markings all over them. You can see the crown at the top of that one. I'm thinking of some kind of, um, uh, probably like a half penny from Britain or something, an English coin. Old, I'm sure, probably 1700s, I'm sure. But you can see markings all over. But electrolysis, it is just eat up from the um, both of these. And I think they're the same coin, actually. And I know you can't really see a whole lot on them. You can see I like a um, head on a couple of them, you know, like a, a bust. I think on the back of this one you can see a bust on it. Hard to see on the video here, but good stuff there, man. Definitely old, old coins. I couldn't get anything off this one. Definitely an old copper coin right there. Old button. I'm thinking that one definitely had some kind of design on it. I, don't, I couldn't, never could get it good detail on that one. This one I could. This one you can see an anchor 
right there. You can see it right there. And the eagle back in the background. It says probably a marine button from the Civil War. What I'm guessing. Pretty cool. I actually saw the back. Didn't realize that was the back at the time. And this is the front. You can see the anchor on it right there. That's pretty cool right there. Look at that. You can definitely see that. No question. But it's been all up. Uh, Civil War bullet. Uh, I think this is a carbine. Uh, John Boy said uh, this used to have a uh, rimfire cartridge on it. Uh, he, he's an expert on the bullets right there. Pretty cool. And you see it's kind of more pointy than a rounded end on it. But that's pretty cool. Civil War bullet right there. Nice big button. It's amazing the size of the buttons that they had back in the day. Pretty cool. 19, I think it's a 1916 Mercury Dime. We love finding silver. Any silver is good. You know it. But the find of the day was at right there. 17, I think it was a 86, or was it? Uh, pretty cool. Spanish Real right there. I knew it was a Spanish Real in that field. I knew it was in there. There it is right there. And there's some more in there, too. Guaranteed. We're going to be getting into some other parts of that property, and I guarantee you there's going to be a lot more in there. Uh, the lady that lives there said that she found most of the, um, uh, the old pipe stems on the other field that we're getting ready to get access to. So I can't wait to get in there and check that out. Unbelievable stuff's going to come out of that field. Trust me. we got a long way to go on that property. All right, push your mic. Come along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. I can't wait to get in some more of that field. Stay tuned. <laughs>